In today's video, I'm going to talk about the top five defenses in Madden 18, and hopefully when you walk away from this video, you're going to have some pretty good knowledge and pretty good hold and pulse on the best defenses that you could use in Madden 18. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. If it's your first time, I just want to welcome you to the channel and I want to encourage you to watch the video all the way through and at the end of the video, um, if you enjoyed the video, if it was helpful in any way, to go ahead and click the subscribe button. That way you can get access to future content that I produce. Alright guys, so the top five defenses in Madden 18. What I wanted to do was break down the top five uh, kind of defenses overall and give you guys at least a little bit of a glimpse into why I believe that they are the top five. The first defense is the 4-4 uh, formation. So if you guys haven't checked out the 4-4, it's one of the better defenses in the game. And what the 4-4 brings to the table is, is really, really good zones for some reason the zones play really well out of the 4-4 the other thing that you can have in the 4-4 is you have really good pass rushing angles to get block shed pressure the one drawback to the 4-4 specifically is the fact that a lot of the um, blitzes that used to work out of 4-4 no longer do however there are some still pressure systems that you can get in every defense that i'm going to give you today you can get pretty good pressure out of if you just kind of tinker with it a little bit. So the 4-4 formation in my eyes, really effective, especially if you want to play a lot of zone. The one drawback to the 4-4 is I don't think there's a true Tampa 2. Um, it's mostly cover 3 and cover 2 inverts. So that is a little bit of a drawback. Um, if you need Tampa 2, um, then you're, you're going to have to look somewhere else or you're going to have to manually uh, create it. Okay, so that's just something to be aware of when, when choosing the 4-4. But the 4-4 is good because it really can help you in the running game. All right, so the second formation, the second defense that I want to give you is a 3-4 under. So the 3-4 under can be found in almost every 3-4 playbook. The 4-4, I'm pretty sure the 4-4 can be found in the cover 2 playbook. Um, and it might be able to be found in the balance. There's a couple teams that have it too. But anyways, the... Um, Oh, I can't believe I dropped that pass. The 3-4 under can be found in almost every 3-4 playbook. It can be found in New England Patriots playbook as well. That's the defense that I've broken down in the premium membership. So if you guys are interested in that, you can check that out. It's in the, A link's in the description. The 3-4 under, however, the, the key to the 3-4 under, in my opinion, is that it has really, really good cover 2 pressure. So specifically from a cover 2 look. The 3-4 under has really good pressure, um, maybe even better than the 3-3-5 uh, odd defense that I use. So the 3-4 under is probably one of the better defenses. The other thing about the 3-4 under that is probably different than most of these most of these packages is that the 3-4 under specifically, that defense does a really, really good job with variance. So there's a lot of different plays that you can use out of it, a lot of different coverages that you could run. That's that's kind of one of the things that that defense brings to the table. Okay, so you again, if you want to run, you know, a bunch of different safety blitzes and exotic different defenses, this is your defense. This is a really, really exotic defense this season and something that I think a lot of people uh, under undervalue, even though it's really a solid formation the number three defense in this year's game is the dollar three two six and hesitated to put this on here because one of the problems with the dollar three two six is if you use um if you use the dollar three two six and they come out in a uh, single back deuce close type of attack then it makes it very difficult for you to stop the run um, just because of the way that the two tight end sets work this year uh, with stopping the run. So what I would recommend you do is have a uh, playbook that has a good dollar three two six, but also um, also it does a really, really good job with like a three four under or a four four or a four three under or something that you can use if you see two tight end sets because two tight end sets, I'm telling you right now are, um, a pain in the neck to defend in the dollar three two six. So, but the the cool part about the dollar three two six is the cover two blitzes, the pass rushing angles, all of that is really good from there. So you can get a lot of good pressure, and you can run a lot of man coverage um, 
which is one thing that most most packages don't have in their repertoire is the ability to run some type of man defense. That's what the dollar three two six really brings to the table. And then the the second defense, uh, the number two defense that I want to talk about is the nickel three through five normal formation. So this can be found in a lot of playbooks, but the one that I would recommend you look at is the Cincinnati Bengals. And we're actually going to break this down in one of our future premium updates because it's so good. But basically what the three through five normal brings to the table is it has a little bit of everything. It's got some similar qualities that the dollar three two six has. It has a little bit of what the three through five odd has for the New England book. And it also has a little bit about of what the nickel normal defense brings to the table. So you get really, really good edge pressure um, from the from the nickel corner slot. You get really good coverage. You have um, the key with the 3 through 5 defense. The 3 through 5 normal defense is a defense that is designed to be a bend but don't break defense. And so um, that's kind of the that's kind of the direction you would want to go if you use the 3 through 5 odd is you would want to play cover four. You could have um, you know, you can run a lot of different coverage shells out of it, but it's got really, really good coverage uh, from that formation specifically. Uh, similar to the 4-4 and the ability of the zones to be really powerful for you. And then the last formation, in my opinion, the best formation in the game is the one I use. And that's a nickel 3-5 odd. So we actually broke down an entire defensive scheme out of it that includes two-man pressure right, two-man pressure left, three-man A-gap pressure, um, and that's kind of what you can expect from this formation. It's what it's been doing all season long. Um, this is, again, this is just my favorite formation in the game, but I think it's personally because you can do so much with the pressure um, in terms of where you can send it from. That's the, that's one of the things that most people don't think about is um, one of the big things with defense is not only can you get pressure, but number two, can you get it from multiple angles, and this defense specifically does really really well at getting it from multiple angles okay so that's just something to think about as you look to include and and look at this defense again we broke this defense down in the premium membership and so far so good a lot of people have liked it um you know there's certainly the cool part that i like about it with the 55 odd my opinion is it's everything all in one formation so you have features of the nickel 35 normal you have features of the 44 you have features of the 34 under you have features of the nickel normal you have features of i mean just so many different packages that you can use and it's kind of all rolled into one set that really is dominant so i just want to encourage you to check that out we have a uh, again a whole breakdown on the premium membership we're actually going to do an ebook on the new england patriots defense in uh, christmas so Coming up in the next couple weeks, we're going to release a our, our second ebook of the season, and you'll be able to get access to that if you'd like. So, anyways, guys, just wanted to put out kind of my top five defenses. These are the top five defenses. If if I had to pick five, this is what I would do. Let me know if if I left any defense off this list and why you think it deserves to be on it. Thank you guys for watching today's video, and we will see you guys tomorrow.